Now, when you're building a WordPress website, there are a couple of different ways in which you can approach it. You can use a page builder if you want to, and that'll give you kind of full control over everything. Or you can go down the route of using a theme. Now, Curry, there are two key different kinds of themes. We're going to take a look at both of those in this video. We're going to take a look at full site editing themes, which is what's going to work with native Gutenberg and full site editing, the way that WordPress is moving in the future. But we're also going to take a look at classic themes. Themes work in fundamentally the way that you would have done before full site editing. But don't think of these as being old hat. There's still a lot of benefits of why you may want to use them. Now, all the themes covered here are going to be totally free. They do have pro versions, and I'll talk about those briefly, but we're going to focus 100% on the free versions. I'm also going to give you what I would consider the pros and cons of each of these as we get to the end. Okay, that's enough of the waffle out of the way. Let's take a look at the first theme. First up, let's talk about the Oli theme. Now, one of the key things I like about the Oli theme, which is a new full site editing type theme, is the fact it has lots of really well designed patterns. Now, if you don't know what a pattern is, it's effectively little template blocks, so headers, hero sections, footers, those kinds of things. It has a lot of really well designed, well optimized, and a great starting point if you don't have design skills or you want to put something together super quickly. Oli has a lot of really great options. It's also well coded, well designed, incredibly lightweight, and it's just a joy to work with if you like full site editing. The pro or premium version, and the only real difference between the two of these is that the premium version has a lot more of those patterns or templates included. So if you want more, you may want to take a look at the premium version. But I would say start off with the free because there's so many great options inside there to get you up and running. It's lightweight, it's fast, it's relatively easy to work with and has some fantastic patterns. The downsides, well, I kind of think that the pro or premium version is a little bit on the expensive side, but that's probably the only downside I could say about it, other than it is a full site editing theme, which, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of. But you may want to check out Ollie. Link is in the description. I really do like the Ollie theme. Next on the list is Spectra One. Again, another full site editing theme. This one comes from the same team as behind Astra, which has over 1.6 million downloads. That's an awful lot of downloads. Well, Spectra One, again, is another full site editing theme. Lots of great options inside you. And if you've ever used Astra, this is going to be very, very familiar to you. It operates in a very similar fashion. Like I say, it is full site editing, so you're going to have to take that into consideration. But you're going to know that it is well designed, well coded, has great support behind it because those at Brainstorm Force, they really do have a pretty solid track record when it comes to working with and building things for work. WordPress. Now, for me, one of the key selling points when it comes to Spectra One is the Spectra actual plugin itself. Again, there's a free and a pro or premium version. And if you consider this to be the building blocks that you'd actually use to build your actual pages, your content, those kinds of things. So this works flawlessly. And this is one of the things I always look for when it comes to having any kind of theme or tools inside WordPress is I would rather have a theme and the tools you use to design and build the pages all from the same company. That means that you end up having a lot less issues. They know they're going to be tested to work together. And it means when it comes to updating, which it's WordPress, so that's going to happen quite a lot. It just gives you an extra little bit of peace of mind knowing that chances are it's going to work a lot better than having things from two separate companies, a big selling point. And again, if you want to have more functions and options available, there is a Spectra Pro, which like I say, this is the brick, the building block side of things, not so much the actual theme itself. This is where the strength of it comes in, if you ask me. So if you want that synergistic link and connection between the way that you design and build your pages, the content, all those kinds of things, and the theme that you're going to use, which again comes from a company that has a solid track record. Like I say, Astra itself has over 1.6 million downloads, which kind of says a lot when it comes to themes these days. So you may want to check out Spectra One, which is the theme, and Spectra, which is the block plugin. Like I say, there is a pro version, but the free version gives you a lot of of tools and functions. The other thing I don't tend to like when it comes to the Brainstorm Force free options is that you have certain features stripped out. We'll take a look at Astra a little later. Sorry for a spoiler alert, but I'll give you my reasoning why I've got a few issues with the free version there. But it is free, so we can't ask for everything. So check out Spectra One and Spectra the Block plugin. A pretty solid option if you want to go down that full site editing way of building your websites. 
Before we move on, let's take a moment to have a message from today's video sponsor, OmniSend. Now, if you're looking for solid email marketing platform for your e-commerce store, look no further than OmniSend. Getting started is an absolute breeze. They offer some of the most affordable pricing on the market, and you can start with their free plan and experience premium features without spending a penny. It's the best quality to cost ratio you'll find anywhere. If you need help, rest assured, with OmniSend's award-winning customer support, you're always a priority. It's available 24-7, 365 days a year, and you'll get a response in less than three minutes, making you feel valued and important. Now, don't just take my word for it. OmniSend is a top-rated platform. With unbeatable pricing, powerful features, and exceptional support, the reviews speak for themselves. If you're ready to elevate your email marketing game, OmniSend is here to help. You can try OmniSend today and discover why they're the best choice for your e-commerce business. With unbeatable pricing, powerful features, and exceptional support. Link in the description down below. Okay, so those are my two top full site editing themes. There are a lot less full site editing based themes out there at this point in time. So there are slightly slimmer pickings in comparison to the typical classic theme that we're kind of used to with WordPress. But let's move on to those anyway, because I still think there's a lot of reasons why they generally tend to offer a better proposition for most users over full site editing. So my first choice here, and probably the one that I would recommend the highest anyway, is Bloxy. And obviously you've got Bloxy Pro. But one of the reasons why I think this is a great option, it is incredibly versatile, which is one of the benefits of having a theme like this. It's fast loading, it's well optimized. It has a team behind it that are passionate about the actual project itself. Updates come out very regularly. And if you wanna use this as a kind of blogging platform, it's excellent. If you wanna use it with WooCommerce, Again, it's excellent. However, if you do want to use it with WooCommerce, I would then recommend going for Bloxy Pro because there are some really nice extra functions and extra options inside Bloxy Pro that open up even more options when it comes to working with WooCommerce. Worth checking out. And for the price, I think it would be better going down the route of something like that, which again has all those options built in together, than using extra plugins because then you've got the update in and all those kinds of things. We generally try to sort of minimize the amount of plugins and things you've got. So you may want to check that out. The other thing that I really like about it is the fact that you've got your header, your footer builder, all those things are available in the free version. It also works great with WooCommerce, like I've said, works great with pretty much anything you want to throw at it. But if you want those extra things for WooCommerce, and also if you want to use advanced custom fields and create custom post types, add your own meta fields and so on, the pro version has a module inside there to work with ACF and just enabling that. Once you add in a new custom post type, for example, it will automatically create the templates for you, which you can customize inside the customizer in Bloxy itself. It's just an absolute breeze to work with and gives you so many options for customization, but also including extra tools and functions into it. So take a look at that. So what don't I like about Bloxy? Well, there's not a lot to dislike about the free version. I think it's really, really well featured and has a great starting point to build really, really nice looking websites. The pro version though, unfortunately does use the freemium licensing model, which I am not the biggest fan of. And I know a lot of people out there don't really like it very much either. So I would love to see them move to an alternative. I understand the reasons why they stay with it because it does make a lot of side of things a lot easier for them to handle and maintain. But me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of that licensing model. So that's one thing to consider. But apart from that, there's not a lot to dislike about Bloxy Free or Bloxy Pro. Now, like I hinted at earlier on, Astra has to be in this because it is probably one of the most, if not the most prevalent theme out there. And for good reason. As you can see, there's over 1.6 million sites using Astra at this point in time. So it's a really solid theme. Again, it has a solid track record. It's well coded, well optimized, and is a solid starting point for building your websites on. The free version has a lot of things to like about it. However, well, we'll come back to that in a moment. There's a pro or premium version available, which you may want to add on for the extra features. And to be honest, there are certain things locked behind that paywall that you, if you want to get the most out of the theme, the pro version is probably the way you're gonna have to go, but you can still do an awful lot with the free version. And if you don't mind adding some extra plugins in, you can kind of compensate for some of those things that may be locked behind that premium paywall. So Astra, a solid starting point really well-designed theme, has a lovely onboarding wizard that makes getting up and running if you're new to working with themes or with WordPress, an absolute breeze. 
Again, one of those things that I really do like about what they've done with the Astra theme. Now, what don't I like? I don't like the fact that you've got the header builder, which is nice inside the free version, but if you want the footer builder, you have to pay for premium. Compare that to Bloxy, which has the header and footer builder pretty much fully featured in the free version. For me, I would probably go with the Bloxy theme. But like I say, if you want something that's being used by millions plus sites, Astra is a solid way of going about it. Now, if you don't mind getting your hands dirty and you want something that's a little bit more bare bones so you can customize it the way that you want, I would recommend taking a look at Generate Press. Connecting this up and linking this with Generate Blocks, which is their block builder plugin. So this is still a classic theme, but you have that kind of build on top of Gutenberg. And even though there's only, let's say, a handful of modules or blocks that you can use inside there, there's an awful lot of flexibility. One of the nice things they brought out recently is the ability to work with global classes. So it means that making design changes across your entire site is incredibly easy. The free version of Generate Blocks paired with Generate Press gives you a solid platform to get started using dynamic data using a tool like Advanced Custom Fields. So if you want something that allows you to be a little bit more hands on, a little bit more custom, and you don't mind working that way, I would say Generate Press and Generate Blocks is a great combination. If you want more, obviously the pro or premium version adds in extra things, but you can still do an awful lot with the free version of both of those, the theme and the plugin. Probably one of my favorite themes, and I bought the lifetime license for Generate Press recently, and I use Generate Blocks on multiple different sites of my own. It's an absolute joy to work with. Has a slower development pace, but is a very solid platform. I never have an issue worrying about updates when they roll out. I'm generally pretty confident about them being pretty solid. I always have a backup anyway, but it's there. So Generate Press and Generate Blocks is a great combination if you want more control over the building process. Okay, this last one is probably a little bit of a cheeky one, but I'm gonna put it in there anyway, just for a bit of fun. Bricks Builder. Now you're probably thinking, but Paul, that is not a theme. Well, you'd be wrong because Bricks actually is a theme. It just happens to have a builder board on top of it. So if you want probably what I would consider to be the best WordPress platform for building your websites, Bricks would be the way to go about it. I know it's a cheeky one to put in there, but well, I had to put it in there. If you want to check out my playlist, you can do that here. Now, these are what I would consider to be some of the best WordPress themes, both classic and also full site editing themes. Great starting points, whichever way you want to go about it. Now, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.